Hi guys, this is just going to be a quick video showing a couple of tests that I've conducted on a new project. I'm going to try and make a microjet engine. The engine is 25mm or 1 inch in diameter and 75mm or 3 inches long. I will most likely need help completing this project as I have obviously never designed a jet engine before, let alone a microjet engine. If you would like to see this project succeed, please consider helping us by going to Patreon in the link below and becoming one of our patrons. And also please recommend this video to any friends or acquaintances that you think might be interested or could help in the design of this microjet engine, such as engineers or people in the remote control aircraft community. In return for you helping us on Patreon, you will have access to all 3D models, which you can modify should you wish, links to all tools and materials used so far, and you will also have access to a forum where you can add knowledge and recommend design changes. I will also add the location of all 3D printed models so that you can work on the project yourself. At the moment it is both cheaper and faster to use 3D printing, especially when just checking clearances and the fitting of all parts, and although in the future many of these parts will need to be CNC machined. I have done some basic tests on both the starting motor assembly and the combustion chamber, although both need minor modifications. In many of the videos that I've seen online that claim to show a microjet engine, the starting motor is connected directly to the engine and cannot be disengaged. For this reason the engine can never start as the drag of the electric motor will not allow the engine to spool up. The starting motor needs a very basic clutch for engaging and disengaging from the engine. I have that part designed and it is on the way and I will make a video of it in the coming days. Until I receive the clutch, I just have a basic video showing the starting motor assembly screwed onto the front of the engine. I am contemplating making the starting motor spring loaded with a Bendix clutch, but that might be making things a bit more complicated than they need to be. Please note that the clear Perspex tube seen in the video is just for testing purposes so that I can see the combustion chamber. When I am happy with these tests, this will be replaced with metal. I have also done some tests on the combustion chamber. For some unknown reason I seem to have forgotten to add holes to the front of the combustion chamber but I will rectify that in the future. So far the combustion chamber seems to be working very well. Believe it or not this is actually a 3D printed stainless steel part. And as it is 3D printed you can be a li little bit more creative with the design. I have incorporated a hollow space inside the chamber through which the fuel flows. This gets rid of the need for very small pipework which can be found in RC jet engines. Although I'm using a cigarette lighter in the video, I would like to start the engine using an electronic spark ignition. I'm currently doing these tests and I will upload a video in the coming days.
that's all for this video. I will upload more videos in the coming days and weeks as I receive more parts. If you would like to get on board with this project, please head over to Patreon to help us out. Future projects that we will be working on in conjunction with this one include a gasoline powered Tesla turbine, a Stirling engine that is both small enough and efficient enough to run on top of an ice cube, a rotary Stirling engine, a Minto wheel and many more projects besides.